thanks to your amazing responses to my first video, I'm back with another Turkish talk video. I want to help you speak Turkish quickly, even if you know nothing about the language. Heidi, let's make speaking Turkish easy and fun. If you watched the previous Turkish talk video, then you know by now how to ask nicely for a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, and the different words we use to create a complete sentence. Today, we're going to use some of these words we used last time. O zaman haydi başlayalım. So, let's start. Our first story is about a businessman. That businessman who wore a suit and went to buy milk. Yeah, why not? Everyone has to buy milk, right? So, a businessman wore a suit and went to buy milk. Do you know that in Turkish, the word milk means suit? Yes, suit. This is how we say it. So, a businessman wore a suit and went to buy milk. Milk is suit. This is how we pronounce it. Milk is suit. What's the story again? A businessman wore a suit and went to buy milk. Milk in Turkish is süt. And liter in English, in Turkish, it's litre. Very close, right? Liter, litre. We just switch the last two letters. I want to say, I want one liter of milk. Of course, you know from the previous video that I want means istiyorum, right? Remember the story of Esther when her mom tells her, Esther, I want you to clean your room. So, istiyorum means I want. And a, or number one, means bir. Again, remember the story of the deer? I opened the door and saw a deer. A deer. One deer. We switch it a little bit. Deer becomes bir. Bir means one. So, we have istiyorum and bir. We're going to use them in this sentence. Our sentence again is, I want one liter of milk. You can say it now, I'm sure. And we know that süt means milk. The sentence will be, bir litre süt istiyorum. Bir litre süt istiyorum. Was that hard? No, right? Then hit the like button if you're getting value out of this lesson. Our next story is about little Sue. Just a quick pause because I've got something to share that will make a real difference in your studies or work. Notice anything different about this video? The design, cool animations, and how interactive it is? Well, it's all thanks to one amazing tool, Creative Studio. Before, I used to juggle four different programs for information, voice recording, fixing audio, and putting it all together. Now, with Creative Studio, it's a breeze. It's got everything those four programs had, plus more super easy info presentation with built-in 3D images and animations, and the audio? Seamless. Trust me, for your next project, give Create Studio a spin. Check out the link in the description box below and take your creativity to the next level. Little Sue likes to play with water all day. Our keywords here are su and water. In Turkish, water means su. Is there anything easier than this? I'm sure now you will be able to say this sentence. I want one liter of water. I want one liter of water. Yes, raise your voice. I have to hear you. Bir litre su istiyorum. Bir litre su istiyorum. Remember, little su likes to play with water all day. Su is water. Su is water. Bir litre su istiyorum. You know what? I forgot to tell you. When I went to the market yesterday, I told the Turkish seller, who by chance speaks English too, I told him, I want one liter of taze milk. Oh, oh, I mean fresh milk. Let me say that again. I told the seller, I want one liter of taze milk. I mean fresh milk. I don't know why I'm mixing up between taze and fresh. But anyway, he understood because taze means fresh. Taze means fresh. Let's get things right this time. You know by now how to say I want one liter of milk. 
Yes, you can say it. Bir litre süt istiyorum. Now, in Turkish, when you want to say, I want one liter of fresh milk. Fresh milk. Now, as I told you, I made that mistake so much a couple of times. So, taze means fresh. I told the seller, I want one liter of taze milk, which is fresh milk. Let's say I want one liter of fresh milk. Bir litre taze süt istiyorum. Bir litre taze süt istiyorum. Let's review. What have we learned so far? Süt. Litre. Su. Taze. Let's remember the stories behind these words. The businessman wore a suit and went to buy milk. So, süt is milk. Litre is liter, as in English, very close. Little Su likes to play with water all day. So, Su means water. And Taze means fresh. Taze means fresh. The next one is very easy. Kilograms in Turkish is the same. Kilogram. Or we can say it kilo. We say that in English too, right? Kilo. This one is easy too. In English, we say yogurt, right? Look how it is written in Turkish. This way. You know what? Let's, let's just drop this weird letter that we have never seen before. So the word will be yogurt. Okay, this is yogurt in Turkish. Now let's learn how to pronounce it. We drop that weird letter that we don't know how to say. And then we have this word, yo word. Yo word. Yo word. Yo word means yogurt. So we learned how to say kilograms and yogurt. Let's make our sentence. The sentence is, I want one kilogram of yogurt. I want one kilogram of yogurt. It's your turn. I'll pause a little bit and you have to say the sentence first. Yes. Okay. So, great. The sentence is, Bir kilo yogurt istiyorum. Bir kilo yogurt istiyorum. Let's get away from the supermarket now and go to space. Yes, we're going to space. Did you know that after coming back from the moon, Neil Armstrong was craving for cheese? I'm sure you didn't know that. Yes, that day Neil and his friend astronaut went to a restaurant and ordered one kilogram of very expensive French cheese. Of course, he had no money because he had just came back from space. He told, he told the waiter that he had no money, but she insisted and told him, Please, Nil, pay. Please, Nil, pay. Please pay nil. She's insisting. You have to pay nil. You have to pay nil. The word cheese in Turkish means pay nil. Pay nil, which is very close to our story. Pay nil. Pay nil. You have to pay nil for the cheese. Pay nil. So cheese means pay nil. Let's go back to our sentence. When you want to say, I want one kilogram of cheese. Now we know all the words, right? I want you... To try to say that sentence before I say it. I want one kilogram of cheese. How do you say it in Turkish? Bir kilo peynir istiyorum. Excellent. Bir kilo peynir istiyorum. Wait, wait, don't go. We have to test your knowledge and see what have you learned so far. First of all, the story behind the milk is the businessman wore a suit and went to buy milk. So, suit means milk. Liter in Turkish is easy. Litre. What about water? What did little Su like to do? Little Su likes to play with water all day. So, Su means water. And when I went to the Turkish seller, I told him, I want one liter of taze milk. Oh, I'm doing that mistake again. I want one liter of fresh milk. So, taze means fresh. Kilo is kilo in Turkish. Yogurt is yogurt. We just dropped that weird letter that we don't know what it is. And yogurt means yogurt. Finally, cheese. How do we say cheese in Turkish? Pay nil. You have to pay nil for the cheese. So, peynir is the same as cheese. 